This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at Le Chatelier's principle and temperature. Changes in temperature cause a change in the equilibrium position and in the value of the equilibrium constant Kc. Here we have the chemical equation for the Haber process. In the Haber process, nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. The forward reaction of the Haber process is exothermic. This can be seen by the negative value for the change in enthalpy. If the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic. We can see this by looking at the sign of the enthalpy change, which is positive. So when we use Le Chatelier's principle to predict in which direction the equilibrium position will shift, we need to know if the forward reaction is endothermic or exothermic. If the forward reaction is exothermic, the reverse reaction is endothermic, and vice versa. Next, we'll predict in which direction the equilibrium position will shift when the temperature is increased. When the temperature is increased, the equilibrium position will shift to the left, which is the reactant side. And the reason for this is that the system will absorb the extra heat, favoring the reverse reaction, because it is endothermic. When the temperature is increased, the reverse reaction will be favored because it absorbs heat. Therefore, the equilibrium position will shift to the left, in the endothermic direction. Next, we'll predict in which direction the equilibrium position will shift when the temperature is decreased. So when the temperature is decreased, the equilibrium position will shift to the right, which is the product side. And the reason for this is that the system will produce heat favoring the forward reaction, because it is exothermic. When the temperature is decreased, the equilibrium position will shift in the exothermic direction, which is to the right. Next, we look at the effect of temperature on the value of the equilibrium constant Kc. So for an exothermic reaction, increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium position to the left and decreases the value of the Kc. So as we saw in a previous slide, the forward reaction of the Haber process is exothermic. Here we have the equilibrium constant expression for the Haber process. When the equilibrium position shifts to the left, the value of the numerator decreases and the value of the denominator increases. Therefore, the value of the Kc decreases. So an increase in temperature for an exothermic reaction results in a decrease in the value of the Kc. For an endothermic reaction, increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium position to the right and increases the value of the Kc. Here we have the reaction between hydrogen and carbon dioxide to produce water vapor and carbon monoxide. As we can see from the sign of the enthalpy change, the forward reaction is endothermic. And here we have the equilibrium constant expression for the reaction. When the equilibrium position shifts to the right, the value of the numerator increases and the value of the denominator decreases. Therefore, the value of the Kc increases. So for an endothermic reaction, an increase in temperature results in an increase in the value of the Kc. So let's end with a summary, starting first with exothermic reactions. When the temperature is increased, the equilibrium position shifts to the left and the value of the Kc decreases. And when the temperature is decreased, the equilibrium position shifts to the right and the value of the Kc increases. And finally, for endothermic reactions. When the temperature is increased, the equilibrium position shifts to the right and the value of the Kc increases. And when the temperature is decreased, the equilibrium position shifts to the left and the value of the Kc decreases.